everyone. Welcome to Wind Down Wednesdays. I'm your host, Paula Taylor, and this is episode 104. Welcome to the two-year anniversary celebration of Wind Down Wednesdays. As you can see, I'm set up for our virtual sound bath. So the first thing I just want to say is thank you. Thank you to those of you who have been watching the show. Some of you have never missed a show. Some of you are recently joining us, whether you're watching the videos or you're listening to the podcast after the live show. I realized as I was setting all this up earlier and and getting into my energetic flow and, and prepping for this, I don't think I would be standing here doing this if I hadn't started this show. I started this show based on some intuitive guidance. I received this idea of doing a guided meditation show. I received the name, calling it Wind Down Wednesdays, doing it on Wednesdays in the middle of the week when people are kind of hitting that slump, trying to get through to the weekend. And it really grew into something way more than I had thought. I thought, oh, we'll just do a relaxing meditation every week. And it's really turned into a show about spiritual practice, about healing, about the spiritual process. And so I just want to say thank you. And if you are interested in supporting me, supporting the show, you can do that directly by going to my website, which is paulataylorenergy.com, click on the podcast, and there's a place where you can actually donate directly to me. You can also donate to me through Anchor, which is the platform that hosts the podcast. If you're listening to the podcast, those links are in the show notes. I love doing this work. I want to keep doing it, and and I want to build a community, and it's interesting. I'm going to talk a little bit about the card that I pulled for our, our intention for the sound bath tonight, and to me, it's all about community. But just briefly, I want to get into the sound so we have enough time to really do a full journey together. I want to talk a little bit about what to expect. So the first thing that I always tell everyone is to take care of yourself. This is a safe space. All of the energy I transmit is for the highest good of me, of you, of the collective, of anyone who's watching this live or will be watching or listening to it in the future. But you know yourself best. So... We're going to go on a journey, and there's going to be some peaks, there's going to be some valleys. The sound will get louder. Sometimes we'll go into almost total silence, and that can be a little bit triggering. It can be a little bit uncomfortable in the body. So you know yourself best. If you are feeling uncomfortable to the point that something hurts. I've been in sound baths before where it was hurting my ears. I have really sensitive hearing, so I try to be sensitive to that. But I always say in my live sound baths, take care of yourself. If you need to put your fingers in your ears in the live setting and hear, you, you know, you can turn the volume down if you need to. I will say that I have been told in previous virtual experiences that I've led that wearing headphones can be really amazing in terms of especially the vocal toning you might hear some frequencies that don't come through in the live space. That's one of the things I wanted to make sure before I started doing these virtually that I felt like the sound was going to come through in a way that was as pure as possible. But keep in mind that sound and all energy transcends time and space. So just because we're not in the virtual or we're not in the same physical space does not make this any less powerful. And in fact, when I've done dimensional frequency expansion classes, I have gotten feedback from people who've done them both ways that that there's just as much power, if not more, in the virtual space. So I am going to do a spoken invocation. I'm going to call the dimensional frequencies into this space. I'm going to vocally tone those frequencies. They're going to speak through the bowls. And I'm just going to really briefly kind of go through what those are. You can learn more about that on my website as well. But I've got the grid here. I'm not sure how well you can see that on the video. But I'll just go through the layers really quickly because that they'll all be coming through in this sound bath. So we've got emerald, which is a heart opener. We've got amethyst, which is the mind opener. Onyx is a grounder. And you'll hear that one really clearly at the end, especially I do some onyx to kind of bring everyone back into their bodies if you've gone off on a journey. And then selenite is the bridge between the first three layers, which are the integrating, the healing layers, and then the last three layers, which are awakening. So selenite's a really powerful expander. It's an integrator. 
Celestite is a high heart opener that's kind of opening that self beyond the ego, that, that unconditional love. Some people call that the God consciousness. How light is also an ego surpasser. It's a, it's a mind expander and how light kind of allows us to step out of the ego and, and see things from that more of a bird's eye view instead of the little personality ego self that we talk about so much on the show. And then the final layer is sodalite. And sodalite is the true multi-dimensional grounder. This is where light language comes in. This is where the dragon language comes in. I'm going to mention those just briefly as well. So this is completely intuitive. Every sound bath I do is for whoever is watching. It's a, it's a collaboration. It's a co-creation. I always pull a card of intention before we start, and I'll talk about that briefly. But I just want to let you know, especially if you're new to this, some of these sounds are a little bit strange. This is not a musical performance. This is intended to move energy. So you'll hear some sounds coming out of my body that are not necessarily pretty, and that's purposeful. It, it's coming through me to move energy in a specific way. You're going to hear light language, which sounds kind of just like me whispering or speaking syllables. Asha tayana sasheya. You may hear some dragon language, which is, is basically the same kind of thing, but it's a little more guttural. Go gotcha na keka. Everything you're going to hear here, again, is specifically channeled through me to move energy for the highest good, for the highest good of the collective, of this community that we're, that we're forming together, that we're collaborating in making, that we're co-creating. So I'm going to do an invocation. I'm going to sing my heart song, which is an emerald layer thing you can learn more about. And um, that just opens the space. That kind of brings us all together. Then we're going to go on a journey with, with some vocal tones, with some bowls. I generally end by just kind of playing the bowls. Let yourself be in the silence. When we're done, I have a stool here. I'm going to sit down for just a minute or two, just to let things kind of settle. I will guide you into this uh, verbally, just like I do for our guided meditations. I'll guide you back out of it. I'm not going to leave you off in the stratosphere so that you don't show up for work tomorrow. And, and we're going to have fun with this. This is, I've been so excited about doing this and I am very open to comments. I can't see them because my phone is really far away, but please leave comments about the sound, leave comments about your experience, because my intention is to start doing this on Zoom in, in a more interactive way, just like I do them in person. So for every sound bath, I pull a card of intention. It just kind of brings us together. It's a common intention for the collective. If it doesn't call to you, if this if you, this doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Just let these words kind of flow through you and they'll do what they're meant to. Um, I've got this new deck that I talked a lot about last week called Work Your Light. And it's really beautiful. You Normally I hold it right up to the camera, but I can't get that close tonight without walking over there. So we'll come back to this deck. You'll be able to see these cards more in the future. The card I pulled for tonight is says Priestess. It's a really beautiful card. It's got this woman, and she's kind of got two lion's heads on either side of her. She's in this beautiful blue dress, and you can see in her beautiful cave, that solar plexus area, there's this light and some water rippling. It looks like she's in front of a pyramid with some lights, kind of light rays coming out. It's just a really beautiful card. She's got wings. You probably can't see it too well today, but that's okay. Maybe I'll put a picture of it in the comments afterwards. So when I pull this card at the bottom, it says, how are you being called to step up and lead? And it, it's, it says priestess on it. And it's been in my mind for a while to create a community, a community of spiritual growth, of safety, of collaboration. And I've been a little bit hesitant to do that because I've been afraid to step into leadership. And when I read the book about this, it kind of went into a little bit of detail about how we are afraid to step into a leadership role a lot of times because we're imperfect, because we make mistakes, because we're afraid to be vulnerable, because we don't think we're worthy of it, because we're, we're just ordinary human beings. 
And that's what's so powerful about being a leader is when you can be vulnerable, when I admit all the time on this show that I'm struggling or that things are not going well or that I'm frustrated, being a leader doesn't mean being perfect. Being a leader doesn't mean that you're in this ascended level where you can't relate to people. Being a leader means that you're open, that you're holding a beautiful safe space for people to come and be who they are, for people to uncover their divine light and let it shine in whatever way that that is meant to be for them. And for me, it just happens to be sound. And like I said, I don't think I would be standing here in front of these bowls vocally toning in the sound bath if I hadn't started the show. That was the beginning of my call to grow this community. So stay tuned. I am growing a community. And if you're not on my newsletter list, I don't send them out very often. I say newsletter like it's a regular thing. I send out one to two emails a month just kind of updating you on events. You can go to my website, Paula Taylor Energy, sign up for that if you'd like. But it's in my mind to create a space, whether it's a Facebook group or a meetup group or someplace in the virtual space and then also in the physical space where people can come and feel safe. It's really important to have that sense of safety and support as you step into this spiritual growth process. So for you, this priestess card might just be that call, stepping into just even letting this energy into your space. That is stepping into this spiritual process in a huge way. Whew. All right. So I don't want to talk too long. Let's go on a journey together. Let's, let's do some sound. <sighs> so find yourself a comfortable position. If you'd like to lie down for this, that's completely appropriate. If you sit up, make sure that you're in a position to be supported. Maybe you're reclining in a chair or you've got your legs up. The goal for this is to really just be in ease, to let these frequencies come into your space and move energy in whatever way is for your highest good. Take a couple of nice deep breaths the way that I just did. Inhale through the nose, let your belly float out strongly, and then sigh that breath out with an audible ha sound. <sighs> that sound vibrates your vagus nerve. It tells the body that you're coming into relaxation to prepare for ease. And whatever happens on this journey, give yourself permission to be where you are. If you have emotions come up, just let them come. If you need to take some deep breaths, let yourself do that. If you want to move around, let yourself do that as long as you're in a safe space to do so. This journey is for you. It's for us. It's for this community that we're building. I call in the dimensional frequencies to this virtual space. Let the sound of light surround me. Let the light of sound guide me. Let sacred sound move through me for the harmony of all. Ooh.
ahaya koya saya hai ya Say 
give yourself another few moments to absorb these vibrational shifts. Don't be in a rush to come out of the space you're in. Just sit in this absorption for a few more moments here. You just honored yourself and the collective by bathing in these frequencies of love. So be gentle with yourself as you very slowly begin to come back to this moment, to this physical body. There's no rush here. If you're in a safe space and you'd like to fall asleep, let yourself do that if it calls to you. If you're coming back to continue on with your day or evening, be very slow with this. Be very gentle. Give this experience, the reverence it deserves. Give these shifts a chance to fully absorb in your body, in your emotional, mental, and energetic fields. You are a being of divine light. And this sound is meant to help you rediscover that, to grow it, to shine it out as a priest or priestess to all those you encounter. As you glow, those around you start to have the courage to glow as well. As you're ready, you might start to begin to slowly move your body, maybe shrug your shoulders, slowly move your head and neck around, wiggle your fingers, roll your wrists and hands, maybe stretch your feet or roll your ankles. Again, do this slowly, do this with respect and reverence for the experience you just stepped into. The energy of your space has completely shifted. Give yourself permission to feel that, to notice that, and if you don't, that's okay. You will. If you continue this practice, you will notice that each time you come back, you feel a little bit more open, a little bit more peaceful and at ease, a little bit, bit more luminous and glowing. The truth of your identity is that you are a beautiful, unique, glowing light and the world needs your light. The world needs your love. Take one or two or maybe three more deep breaths. 
You can take them in through the nose and sigh them out with that audible ha sound. Just let them be deep. Let them be effortless. Let your body tell you how it wants to breathe right now. And as you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for coming into this space with me, for co-creating this journey. It was my honor and my privilege to share this practice with you. in celebration of two years of doing this beautiful show, which has also been my honor and my privilege. Have a beautiful, easeful, and restful night. Have a glowing, expanded, and joyful week, and I will see you next week for Wind Down Wednesday.